I love this is going to be a new series I'm doing called Life in UK. Quite 80s, 90s, and 2000s. I was born in 1983 and I just want to make like grown up in a UK back then. The first thing I'm gonna look at is most identified to most cultures. The UK was not something is TV. Now, back now we uh, of the eighties we had we had a uh, BBC One, BBC Two, ITV, and. Uh, from 1982 we had Channel 4, Channel 5 came later, I think 90s, but most people could not get it. So, uh, what was, so what was TV, you mean, you mean for this time TV in the 80s, if you were still sick, when you were sick you didn't go to school. And you used to us a lot of schools programs then. We were dedicated to having school programs. And at 3.30, we were the two channels, BBC One and BBC ITV, which switched to children's programming. They called this CCTV and CITV. And they would have children's programs, and I think this would be going after until five p.m. Then it would be a so proper called neighbors. But if you're kidding on the eight, then you would actually come on the school, put the TV on, and you would watch private programs. A lot of cartoons were American programs but it were really popular. Some British cartoons like we had a mouse and uh, he was like a like a superhero like James Bond, he had a car that flies. They called the and he kept defeating these for super prisons. He was called James the Mouse. And it was for the UK uh, characters needed to set really good role models. Then we had a guy called, it was kind of mythological, like it was called He Man from the Planet Eternia. And the TV show was cartoon, it was called Masters of the Universe. And there was all toys made out of it. And what human did, he had this he was called Green Salon and he had this magic sword he put in the air and then he would turn into He Man and his cat was called Barka and he used to fight this evil guy called Skeletor and notice emphasis on a good guy, teaching people how to be good citizens and to make the country proud. Then after that you had news programs. And news programs were really important back then if you went grew up in the eighties, nineties and two thousands. We got the you know, home got the internet in two thousand two but and we also used to get our, get our news from the T V before then. And <clears throat> And we had like, after we had like national news we called it, like the TV news was like called ITN, uh, the main news was called IT, ITN, that was the biggest one, and we had the late night news called News at 10, and what the news would do is focus on a uh, events of the day 
and uh, what was happening in the world. And he would probably focus on government, like the government, like uh, government doing something basically in Europe. And it was all, it was all good news. We have both, and after the news, we had like local news. We called it like we had TV to like reach UK was split into regions, so we had local news for the regions. And wherever the region you were, you got our local news because it was so consumed seen as important. And it would cover local news, local events, what was happening in locally. And we had uh, what about TV in a weekend? Yeah, winning weekend. We had like the children were made to get up early, and they had the children's variety show. I going live, both of us others. We had two presenters, Sarah Green and Philip Schofield, and Fern Cotton, and, and uh, someone else, I think it was Stephen Green. So basically it was a variety show, bit of current affairs, they had a movie and song, Poppy played some pop music. And so some cartoons, and then after that we had sport, a uh, football. Football is very big, soccer as you Americans call it. So uh, we used to watch that. And the afternoon we had probably an accent TV show, like the A Team. It was an American TV show. Where yeah, these guys run around being a bad guys. A lot of people at the time thought, yeah, it's not teaching our kids to be good citizens because we were fighting all the time. And it was not a good role model, so it got taken off the air. They persisted the government to take it off the air, it was the same. So uh, I hope you uh, heard like, and uh, one thing about TV. BBC, like, state-owned, BBC2, state-owned, ITV, ad commercials, Channel 4 commercials. I hope you uh, enjoyed my video about live in the UK. See you later, dudes.